Hello, many of you may have seen this video of me. My story is not over yet. I'm Hakim Al Arabi, a Bahraini footballer and a political refugee in Australia. I'm facing the threat of being extradited from Thailand to Bahrain, where I was convicted of a crime that I'm not guilty of. I contacted the Department of Immigration before my trip to Thailand, and I asked them, I'm planning to travel to Thailand. Is it safe for me to do so? They answered, yes, you can go anywhere in the world except Bahrain. As soon as I arrived in Thailand, more than 20 Thai police and security men were waiting for me at the door of the plane. They surrounded me, photographed me with their phones, told me that I was wanted for crimes, and took me into custody along with my wife. Thai authorities detained me because Bahrain initiated an Interpol red notice, even though that violated Interpol's policy, prohibiting notices against refugees. In 2012, I was arbitrarily detained in Bahrain for 90 days and tortured because of my sheer faith and my brother's political activities. In 2014, a Bahraini court found me guilty of vandalising a police station, but I was with my teammates at the time, having just finished playing in a televised football match when the alleged crime took place. Can you believe how Bahrain's judiciary framed me with a false charge? They charged me with this crime, even though I was playing an image between my team Al Shabab and Al Bsaitin at Al Muharraq Stadium. In fact, there are video recordings of me playing the game. You can see them at the Radio and Television Corporation, and my team had filed a statement stating what times I was playing in the match. I heard the Bahraini judiciary's verdict when I was playing at the West Asian Football Federation Championship with the national team in Qatar. The court sentenced me to 10 years in prison for a crime that was impossible for me to have committed. After that, I did not return to Bahrain. I left Qatar and eventually sought asylum in Australia. I knew what would happen to me if I returned to Bahrain, where torture is a constant reality in prisons. <laughs> A victim of torture in Bahrain told Human Rights Watch that the interrogator held something to his nose and told him it was the blood of people who don't cooperate, then forced him to make a false confession. This is the country to which Thailand wants to deport me. Bahraini authorities have arrested more than 200 footballers and athletes since the start of the security crackdown in 2011. Many have reported torture, ill treatment, and unfair trials. In 2011, three Bahraini footballers, stars of their national team, were arbitrarily arrested from the stadium while exercising and were subjected to severe torture. Arbitrary arrests and torture in Bahrain has affected players in the following sports football, basketball, volleyball, handball, gymnastics, jiu jitsu, and motorsport. In 2011, an episode of Ma'a Hadath on Bahrain TV was dedicated to defame athletes and encouraged their arrest, which later resulted in torture. Athletes' photos were published with circles drawn around their heads. Using confessions extracted under torture as evidence for prosecution and conviction is common practice in Bahrain. Prisoners in Bahrain still complain about having to drink water and tea from detergent bottles like a Clorox and a flash. Some are abused in prison and denied medical care. Torture does not stop in those prisons. I have become a semi-professional footballer in Australia and a star at Pasco Vale Football Club in Melbourne. But the prison of Bahrain followed me abroad too. Finally, I got my freedom after 70 days of suffering. I would like to thank everyone who supported me from Australia, Bahrain and various countries around the world. Thousands were talking in Hakim Al Arabi's voice to show solidarity with him. I'm now excited to go back to playing soccer. However, please don't forget to show solidarity with the Bahrainis who remind the world on February the 14th of every year that they took to the streets to claim their rights and were subjected to endless violations.